Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my channel Master Computer Science Subjects. After a long time I am making this video. Hope you all are uh, safe at home. Okay, let's continue with the topic. Convert Epsilon NFA to DFA. Today I am going to talk about Automata Theory and uh, Computability. This is one of the topics which I missed in my previous video. So I am going to cover this topic today. So how to convert epsilon non-deterministic finite automata into deterministic finite automata or else we can call it as epsilon nfsm non-deterministic finite state machine to deterministic finite state machine. So this is a given NFA transition diagram. From this NFA we are supposed to identify its equivalent DFA. So these are the four steps we have to follow. Step 1 find the epsilon closure of all the states. Step 2, we have to find the start state of DFSM, that is the second step. And the third step, from the start state of DFA, we have to continue to build the transitions till no new states are identified. Then finally, we have to locate the final states or we have to identify the final states. So these are the four steps we are going to follow. So let us begin from step 1. Find the epsilon closure of all states. So first of all, we have to know what is epsilon closure. From a given state, we are supposed to find the states which are reachable only on epsilon transitions. So epsilon closure of 1 is by default, we have to include the state 1. Then from 1 on epsilon, it reaches the state 2. Again from state 2 on epsilon it reaches the state 3. From 3 further there are no epsilon transitions. That's it. So epsilon closure of 1 by default you have to include the same state 1. From 1 we have to trace which are the states that are reachable only through epsilon. Now let us identify what is epsilon closure of 2. Let us include 2 first. From 2 on epsilon, it reaches the state 3. What is epsilon closure of 3? By default, let us write 3. From 3 further, there are no epsilon transitions. So step 1 is over. We have identified epsilon closure of all the given states 1, 2 and 3. Now we move on to the step 2. So we are going to find the equivalent transition diagram. Uh, DFA for the given NFA. So first we are going to identify the start state of DFA. So how to do that? First consider the start state of NFSM or NFA. This is NFSM or NFA. The start state of NFSM from the transition diagram we know that it is 1. So I have written 1 here. So to find the start state of DFSM or DFA it is nothing but epsilon closure of the start state of NFSM. Already we identified what is epsilon closure of 1 which is 1, 2, 3. Just for the sake of comfort, I call this as state A. So we identified the start state of DFA or DFSM which is A. Now from A, on all the possible input symbols, I am going to continue to define the transitions and keep identifying the new states. So what are the possible input symbols? Look into the transition diagram of NFA. What are the input symbols used here? A, B and Epsilon. When we are finding the DFSM, this Epsilon transitions won't be existing. So we have to consider only A and B. So let me write it here. So we are going to find del is nothing but the transition function from the state a which is the start state of dfsm we are going to define the transition on input symbol a so how do we write that del of a is nothing but one two three comma a so how do we further identify it is very simple we have to identify what is one on a union 2 on a union 3 on a so let us check the transition diagram here 
from 1 straight 1 there is no transition on a so let me mark it as null from 2 there is a transition on a to 2 itself so let me write it as 2 here from 3 there is a transition on 2 itself right so already 2 is included anyhow let me write it here so if I find union I am getting 2 for this resulting state once again we need to find epsilon closure so epsilon closure of 2 is already we identified it as 2 comma 3 so let me write 2 3 so what do you understand from this from the state a which is in turn 1 2 3 on reading the input symbol a it goes to the state 2 comma 3 since it is a new state i call it as b let me repeat the step from the state a which is 1 2 3 on a we are identifying to identify that check whether there is a transition from 1 on a 2 on a and 3 on a list the states for the resulting state once again find what is the epsilon closure of that state so we identified it as 2 comma 3 since it is a new state we are calling it as b okay now let's continue to define transition on b so from the state a on b we are going to find already we know what is a a is nothing but 1 2 3 so how to find 1 on b 2 on b and 3 on b individually we have to identify from the given transition diagram then find the union for the resulting state you have to apply the epsilon closure from the state 1 on reading b it goes to 1 itself from the state 2 on reading b there is no transition that is why i marked here as null from the state 3 on reading b again it goes back to the state 1 so 1 union 1 is 1 and epsilon closure of 1 is 1 2 3 this 1 2 3 is nothing but the same state a i just try to give an imagination here we have identified A as the start state of DFSM. From A, on reading the symbol A, it enters into the state B, right? But from A, on reading B, it goes to A itself. Till now, this is what happened. Now, from B, from A on reading B, sorry. From A on reading B, it goes to A itself. Now from B we continue to define the transition. From B we have to identify uh, what is on A and what is on the input symbol B. From B on A. B is 2 comma 3. We already identified. So how to define the transition from 2 on A union 3 on A. So 2 on A. From the state 2 on reading A it goes to 2 itself. From 3 also on reading A it goes to 2 itself. 2 union 2 is 2 but now we have to identify what is epsilon closure of 2 at the end so i can define like this it is as a whole finding the epsilon closure epsilon closure of 2 already we identified what is epsilon closure of 2 epsilon closure of 2 is nothing but 2 comma 3 so 2 comma 3 is once again nothing but the state b so what do you understand from this transition from B on reading A it goes to B itself right now from B we should try to define transition on input symbol B again uh, define in the same way delta 2 comma 3 comma B from 2 on B is null from 3 on B from the transition diagram we know that it goes to the straight one right now the resulting state is 1. On the resulting state, we have to find the epsilon closure. So as a whole, we are supposed to find the epsilon closure. So what is epsilon closure of 1? It is nothing but 1, 2 and 3. Already it is identified or recognized as A. It's not a new state. So from B, on reading the input symbol B, it goes to A. So further we have not identified any new states. So that's all. Our transition diagram construction is over. From A on reading A it goes to B. From A on reading B it goes to A itself. 
from b on reading a to b from b on reading the input symbol b it goes to a okay now what is pending here the last step what is step 4 we have to identify the final states so what is the final state of nfsm here the final state of nfsm is 3 so in the dfsm or in the dfa whichever the states contain the state 3 all those states are identified as final states so just for the reminding sake i'll write it a is nothing but 1 2 and 3 b is 2 3 so in both the cases 3 is a member so i can easily say that both a as well as b are the final states so this is how we have to convert the epsilon nfsm to dfsm i hope you have understood i'll make another video with a different example of the similar kind of problem thank you students hope you like it please share the videos with your friends thank you